Hello everyone and welcome to another Wild Star Lore. Today we're going to be talking about one of the strangest creatures on Nexus. The Skeech are a near feral species of barely sentient humanoids found wherever there are caves on Nexus, but often emerge to hunt and gather in nearby areas. A tribal and carnivorous race, Skeech eat beasts and sentient creatures indiscriminately. While thought to be led by chieftains, Larger Skeech females are the true power and leadership in the tribe. Many Skeech queens are considered to be powerful shaman. Though Skeech possess enough rudimentary language to be considered sentient, all efforts and diplomatic contact by the Dominion and Exiles has ended violently. While most of the Skeech language consists of the word Skeech in various pronunciations of, translating is especially difficult, even between Skeech tribes. Tribes often fight one another, with the loser usually serving as the main course for the winner's victory feast. The Skeech, though an extreme nuisance to everyone, were loved by their creator, progenitor Amna. She adored her Skeech, but the other Elden couldn't tolerate them and scheduled the Skeech for termination. Amna could never harm her Skeech, smuggling them to Nexus hoping the planet would do the deed for her. Amna's Skeech were often tormented by another progenitor, Nazrik, as he was the one to change the once beautiful Skeech females into what we see them as today. This fueled a bitter hatred between the two Elden. But Nazrik wasn't without his own creations, such as the necromantic tribal race known as Moody's. The Moody's are a primitive species native to Nexus. Their culture is dedicated to the creation and wearing of large decorative masks that seem to represent emotional states. Though not technologically developed, the Moody's are deeply connected with primal life and their shamans are capable of simple yet powerful necromancy. They are very protective of their homes and pose a threat to any outsider. Like Skeech, they are often known to eat invading outsiders. Moody's have never been seen without their masks, even in death. Moody Voodoo is a collection of powerful but primitive spells. There is little variation in chants, dances, and totems used by the Moody's during their witchcraft. Moody's in general have difficulty communicating with off-world species, but understand and speak a few basic words. Their own language consists of grunts, tweets, and other sounds xenoanthropologists believe to represent feelings and concepts more than words and phrases. Moody's shaman are necromancers, gifted at restoring life to the dead. Aggressive behavior from Moody's toward outsiders means this practice has never been shared. But scientists believe they channel a form of primal life energy that permanently reactivates life functions in dead tissue, at least until the next death. This process is not without some side effects, usually including memory and tissue loss, as well as violent madness. Some believe Moody shaman even resurrect themselves upon dying. Moody necromancy is very powerful, and while it has never been shared, some have learned the secrets behind the dark arts. People such as Lavaka the Dark Hearted. Lavaka the Dark Hearted is a necro shaman who serves as the spiritual advisor to the marauder captain Mordecai Red Moon. She is a practitioner of the Dark Rites, a corrupted branch of Draken religion, and is reviled and persecuted by other Draken for it. Lavaka serves as the brains behind the Red Moon operations providing support with her wicked blood magic. Though she aids the marauders, her interests lie elsewhere, such as the Mask of Mog Mog. Mog Mog was a powerful moody witch doctor on the island of Skullcano. He was known to consistently resurrect himself and became stronger with every new life. Mog Mog was ultimately betrayed by the other moodies, who hid his mask and shrunk his head. Lady Lavaka came to Skullcano with the Red Moon marauders to claim the power of the mask, stealing it from Mordecai as he fought off heroes. She fled as the Red Moon Captain died, using her newfound powers to take her place as the most powerful necro shaman on the planet Nexus. And that's the lore behind the Skeech and Moody's. There's still a lot of Wildstar lore to go over, and if you want to see a topic covered in the future, feel free to leave a comment below. Subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos in the future, and share it around with anyone else who loves the lore. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you on Nexus.